Howdy. So this video is not going to be what you think it's going to be about based on what I'm going to start with. So just stick with me. Donald Trump is nuts. Yeah, someone had to say it. A lot of people are saying that or worse stuff. Racist, idiot, uh, whatever word you want to call it. I'm going to go with nuts. Um, and I'm going with nuts because this is a guy who you sometimes think is supposed to be a really smart guy. I don't know if he's really a billionaire or not. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe he is a billionaire. Forbes says he's worth four million. He said he was worth eight million until today, when he said he was worth ten million, a billion, billion. My goodness, billion. Um, no one really knows for sure. But for a guy who seemed like he knew something way back when, when I read his first book, the only book I've read, which was called The Art of the Deal, and it was a very good book at the time. You know, I didn't even know who Donald Trump was back then, but it was a pretty good book. Um, he seems to have thought or figured out that publicity means approval, regardless of what kind of publicity you get. And he thinks that because right now he seems to be leading out of all, what's it, 16, 17 Republicans who are right now running for president, and he's leading, although he's only got 17%. But he's leading the pack. And I think he's leading the pack mainly because he's out there. He's saying a lot of stuff. He doesn't seem to care what he says or how he says it. He's saying whatever he wants. And everyone else is playing politician. And he's not playing politician because he's not a politician. So he's saying this stuff. And he thinks he's getting away with it. But he's not. Think of it like this. You come out and you say some mess being pretty much racist about Mexicans. They're all criminals. They're rapists. They're murderers. All of them. <laughs> all of them. I love the Mexican people, but you got to tell the truth. W really? So how many businesses have disassociated themselves with Trump at this point? I don't even know if we can fully count them all. There's a lot of people who just can't figure out how to get away from this guy, except for this, this, this guy named Ted Cruz who right now isn't even listed in the top the top 16 or 17. And he was the first one to declare that he was running for president. So, of course, jumping on Trump's uh, coattails, he thinks is going to help lift him up. That's a horrible strategy. Here's the thing. I have talked about the process of blogging and the process of being accountable for the consequences of your actions or your words. I am a freedom of speech person, which some people may not think that I am, but I am, with the qualifier that whatever you say, if you're ready to accept the consequences of it, go ahead and say it. But everyone's not going to agree with you. And if they disagree with you in some ways that you don't like, it's your fault for starting it. Now, getting death threats and all that other kind of mess, okay, that's a little over the top. Having people drive by your house and throw paint at it or, or burn stuff or, you know, throw a dead cat. In a room. <laughs> I've read all this stuff has happened to some people. That's taking things a little bit too far. Um, then no one deserves anything like that. Uh, threats of death and violence and all this other kind of stuff. Yelling at people's kids. Th that stuff's just ridiculous, you know. But consequences happen. And that's the kind of thing that, you know scares a lot of people when it comes to blogging or when it comes to writing articles or being on social media. They're, they're afraid that someone's not going to like what they put up. And, you know, this happened to someone else last week, courtesy of me, although I didn't know I was doing this. This woman put up something on Facebook about Hillary Clinton that and mentioned some guy who I'd never heard of. So I decided to look it up, see what it was all about. And it turned out, Okay, well, this guy basically lied. He said this thing. Turns out he lied about it. He kept lying about it for a couple of decades until someone called him on it, in which case he says, well, okay, that's not true, but I still don't like her. So I shared that information with this lady who didn't like me sharing the information with her. And she decided to say that the source I gave her couldn't be trusted. I'm like, what, Snopes? Snopes can't be trusted since when? And then I said, okay, if you don't trust that source, how about this source and this source and this source and this source? And then she said, well, if you're going to be like that, then I'm just going to block you, your comments. I'm thinking you put it out there. You put out something that you didn't confirm. I've written about it. I've done videos about it. 
Don't put out junk that you don't confirm just because it happens to coincide with your stupid belief because you haven't read anything. It's okay to have a belief, but don't put it out there if you can't support it. If other people can throw mess back at you and you don't like it, don't take it out on the messenger. That's your fault for doing it. Same with this thing. My advice really is, and I hope y'all listen to this, don't start none, won't be none. That's really it. Now, if Trump is really worth billions, losing all these contracts and having all these people run from him, knowing he's never going to have a TV show ever again, knowing that a lot of people are never going to stay in a Trump hotel or golf at a Trump golf course or buy <laughs> his pins and shirts and whatever at Macy's or whatever, or, my goodness, the guy even owned up to the fact that he may have illegal aliens working at some of his companies and some of his properties but he doesn't know that what that's such hypocrisy it's the same hypocrisy of ted cruz basically saying he's against the affordable care act and yet he's on their insurance right now it's hypocrisy but there you go if you're gonna say something in the open I just hope it's true. Or even if it's just your opinion, be ready to back it up if someone else doesn't like it. You know, I do these videos and I write my stuff on my blogs and it's not always stuff like this, but I will say, you know, I, I will back it up. If people don't like what I have to say here, you know, you can put something in the comments as long as there's no cuss words. Single cuss word, gone. Personal attack, gone. Attack the message, it can stay. That's just, that's just how life is. See, that's the other thing about consequences. See, my consequence isn't worried that you'll disagree with me. It's your consequence that bad language, gone. And a personal attack, gone. Say something like, oh, you're just the stupidest thing. And there's nothing to back it up, gone. <laughs> we don't need that. Now, if the Donald comes by and says I'm stupid because I'm saying that he's stupid, okay, I'll leave that. I promise, if the Donald, if you can get Donald Trump, the real Donald Trump, to come here and say that I am totally wrong with this, I will leave that. I'll take that. Now, now you got another challenge. Let's see what you can do. Anyway, that's all I have to say here. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And just be confident. Tell the truth. You can't go wrong with the truth. And you can't go wrong with being nice either. There you go. Take care.